the two sides of the solution are how does someone schedule, right? Because because we need to know, okay, what are all of the site surveys that need to be scheduled that are accountable for one person to, you know, do that work, assign the crew and get it off their plate, move it to the next person, right? Simple, that is the conveyor belt. The second thing is how does that show up for the person that's actually executing the work? And ideally we want to make not only the handoff, but the plugging in of the site surveyor as easy and, you know, frictionless as possible. And so, you know, if we come back into Scoop, first I want to talk about the scheduling view, right? So if we just kind of zoom um, back into, like, let's look at that Alex Hahn project. It's been assigned to Jackie. So Jackie's gotten a notification. Jackie knows that this is in scheduling and you're the lead, it's accountable to you. Um, but Jackie cares more about, you know, the, the site survey process than just the Alex Hahn project, right? Alex Hahn is just one of many projects. And so in Scoop, Jackie would likely have a filter that is looking at all of the site surveys that are in a specific stage, in this case, it's scheduling. And this now becomes Jackie's backlog of like, okay, here's all the site surveys that I need to basically get off my plate and move into a working phase. And so now I have, again, you think about Jacob and that simple view around the sales, um, you know, outstanding sales scoops. Now for Jackie, I can simply click into my Alex Hahn project that we're working on. I can click on edit details. Right, right here, I have the ability, I, and, and Jacob actually told me via comment in Scoop that it's going to be, um, you know, that, that he's scheduled or has a tentative schedule for 8 a.m. on November 11th. So I can simply go and put that in there, save it. The next thing I'm going to want to do is assign my crew, right? So in this case, I know John is going to be working on this site survey, he's going to be the lead. And so I can assign John, assign John as the lead. And, you know, at this point, my small input for this project has been completed. And the only thing I have left to do, because John's now gotten a notification, letting them know that they're up, they're the lead, is setting it to working. The nice thing about these types of views is now, when I go back to my view of site surveys ready for scheduling, you can see Alex Hahn is nowhere to be found. And if I went on the calendar, right, which is going to show me you know, actually it defaults to the last filter we had, but if I clear all these out, um, we'll now see that I have, again, Bob, I was touch, talking about, you know, just there can be a lot going on, but I can still see I've got that Alex Hahn site survey here and scheduled and ready to go amidst all my other, you know, things going on. And then of course, John in the field, right, has that site survey, has gotten the push notification and can see it directly on their calendar amidst anything else they may have going on, right? So if I look at my Alex Hahn project, I can see I've got that on my mobile calendar. Um, again, one of the big benefits here is I can go right from opening up Scoop, looking at my calendar, tapping on that event, and I'm right into the work with all of my global fields and now, of course, kind of my standard set of checklist items.